Associated with the equivalent of the Peace Corps, that's the Japanese Peace Corps. As a member of the Social Democratic uh, Party, she visited uh, and served as a fellow with Social Democratic and Labor Party schools in Sweden, Germany, and Israel. She's a graduate of Tokyo's Hosai University, receiving her BA degree in 1967 and her MA degree in 1969. She subsequently studied international relations at Harvard University. Worked with the United Nations, being assistant representative of the UN Development Pro Program Field Office in the Sudan. She's the author of many publications, including one entitled Japanese Technical Cooperation Toward the ASEAN Countries. Mr. Ikubu <laughs> is managing director of Kepner Trego Japan Incorporated research and consulting firm in business decision making. He's a graduate, interestingly enough, of DePaul University in Greencastle, Indiana, graduating in 1957. Went to work for an American shipping company in Tokyo before he established JEC Incorporated an International Communications Firm in 1961. In 1972, he was held as president <coughs> of the Kepner, Kepner Trago. Over the years, he's consulted with Nissan, Honda, Kobe Steel, Esso, Upjohn, and others. Collaborating with the Socioeconomic Institute at Sophia University in Tokyo since 1975. He too is an author, and his works include the Gaijan Complex, which refers to the Japanese complex in East and Western. Mr. Goto is presently general manager. International Division of Nissan Motor Company. Recent promotion, which <coughs> occurred between the time we first received this beta and the present time. We offer congratulations. He also serves as assistant to the chairman of the board of uh, Nissan, Mr. Kawa Mata. Prior to joining Nissan, he was European representative for the Japan Federation of Employees Association. He uh, is also a graduate of a small school in Indiana, Wabash College. <laughs> <laughs> they are rival competitors of the two schools, the institution. <laughs> He's also, uh, also studied at the Woodrow Wilson School of Public and International Affairs, Princeton University, uh, graduating in 1956. This particular city, it's also on Diagonate School, the base of Princeton Town. Uh, it's interesting to observe that he was president of the Princeton Club of Japan in 1974. <laughs> it's a genuine pleasure uh, to welcome three such distinguished Japanese to introduce their culture and economy to us. I should mention one other thing. Uh, Ms. Taguchi will speak to internal, social, and political matters. The second topic, which will generally be addressed, will be the internal Japanese economy. The third topic will be the impact of Japanese economy upon the United States. Pleasure. Thank you very much for a fruitful introduction about me. And uh, it's rather to say, but uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the, uh, just before my departure to the United States, we left Japan 20, 21st, yes, 21st of March. Today is the 
10 days now, right? And uh, just before my departure, the uh, very kind, the American friend, the, uh, came to me and said, yeah, I wish to give you some advice to you before going to visit the United States. Because the, uh, I have been very strong the, and also very active anti-American group of the students. And uh, I was rather hesitant to visit this country. And uh, especially the, uh, during the time of the Vietnam War, the, I was really thought all Americans like, looked like uh, enemies of the uh, Asian people. And uh, what my the, uh, uh, American friends uh, told me before my departure, I, it, it must be very interesting for you to know the, how the, uh, I am and how the relationship between two countries. The, actually, she has been in Japan two years. She is now teaching English for the Japanese the high school students. And she said, like this, the, uh, in the United States, you may visit various parts of the uh, state, and uh, you will meet good American people. And uh, academicians or politicians or businessmen, because they need, some of them they know about Japan. But most of the American people, especially American school people, they don't know much about Japan. They may raise the uh, maybe offer questions to you. Say, for example, what do you think about Asia? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe some of the Americans they may say to you, how you can stand to eat such a raw fish? <laughs> and uh, maybe some of them may ask you, what about your kimono? And uh, maybe some of the uh, men, American men, may ask you, is it true in Japan that the uh, many females are very much kind to the uh, uh, kind to the uh, male? So if you shouldn't embarrass to have such a question by the uh, good Americans, because this time you are coming into the uh, United States to have the uh, good dialogue for the better understanding. So any kind of off off question come to you, but still you must smile. <laughs> so uh, tonight, we, uh, I think uh, we have some the uh, minutes getting the uh, our questions. I'm sure any kind of question from your side, I'm ready to smile myself. <laughs> well, the uh, second thing to which my the uh, American friend in Japan told me, <coughs> first you'll be introduced. The, uh, you graduated or you studied at Harvard University at Trump U Center. And in the United States, if the Summer said you studied at the Harvard University means without uh, considering how his uh, capability ability, you'll get the uh, respect from the people. <laughs> like uh, Tokyo University in Japan. So my friend said, you have to always say yes the other reality, what you done over there. As the introduction, the, uh, I studied about the uh, uh, socialist movement in European countries. Then I found the uh, most of the founders of the uh, socialist movement, the labor movement in European countries, they were Jewish people. So I started to study more about the uh, Jewish socialist movement. And in Japan, we do not have the, uh, enough the domain or information of such because not so many people are studying up such a subject. And very fortunately, I could get the scholarship from the uh, United States. Even I was very anti-American. It's a good country, really. I'm appreciating <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, you know, to the uh, study uh, documents and information, the, because I got the scholarship, I could the, you know, sit on the table or like the chairs in the library of the Harvard University. So my the experience in Harvard is not the uh, 
like what <laughs> you are imagining in yourself. So please don't distract. I'm, you know, <laughs> as a graduate of the public. And also the third, the other voice is what my friend told me. Is, yes, I'm a socialist. The, there are two the uh, social parties. Maybe later on, the thing, I wish to explain something about this part of myself. Uh, I'm a the democrat socialist in Japan, and my friend said the uh, good American people, some of them, they will very much they misunderstand you if you say I'm a socialist. So uh, in their mind, sometimes socialist means communist. So. If you became more friendly with a person of American, then you better start. I'm socialist. <laughs> but I think I'm now enough to be friendly with you. And I'm not a communist, but I'm a socialist from Spain. And the last three, the advice which my friend told me was, the, uh, she's really, this, uh, she, she has been in Japan already two years. Of course, Japanese language is not easy for her to catch up. The, I have a good, good uh, Japanese speaker over there, and I really enjoy to speak in Japanese language. And uh, but uh, she is living the, uh, with a very old the, uh, lady who lost her husband. And uh, this all the relationship with this uh, old lady and my American friend really good. Although they, they are, you know, the language is not so fluent either. Old lady cannot understand any English. And uh, this is my uh, American friend. She, she, she can't speak good Japanese. Then what was her advice to me? She said, the, uh, you may visit the various parts of the United States. It is sure most of the good American people cannot understand Japanese language. So you are very kindly speaking in their language. Don't hesitate to make any mistakes. So I'm really happy, you know, to get this encouragement from my friends. So please be patient if I make any mistake. But I'm trying to speak for the uh, better understanding. You please try to understand me. <laughs> uh, the uh, I don't watch people tonight here, but uh, I have heard many of you are from the business circle in this area. And uh, those two colleagues with me this time came to the United States. The, uh, this is really first time meeting with the uh, business now for me. Even within the uh, Japanese, we have the communication here. And uh, as the uh, person who from this small political party, which we don't have any contact enough with the uh, uh, businessmen or the people from the uh, uh, industrial uh, industry. And especially sometimes if I'm a socialist, the uh, businessman is a capitalist and uh, they're enemies. So I have to be careful. But this time I'm really enjoying being together with them. <laughs> and uh, wherever I visit the uh, business in the state, we used to have the uh, uh, good dialogue with the businessmen. And I thought that the, uh, some of your businessmen of the United States, they were all thinking it's really not like a capitalist which I imagine. They are more like uh, moderate socialists. If I'm in the, 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 you know, start uh, some the organization activities here, I wish to organize those the, uh, pro socialist people to my group. And the dialogue between Japan and the United States, I think uh, we have a certain history, but very unfortunately, the reality is not the, uh, uh, enough yet. Uh, say, for example, the quite recently, the, I was told that the, you had a very interested uh, program of TV, Shogun, isn't it? Yes? I think uh, many of you they looked at the, uh, this movie, uh, the uh, television program. I don't know, I have never seen this uh, TV uh, program, so I don't know how they are introducing the, uh, the so to say, fact of our of giving the uh, real uh, imagination of the uh, Japan to, uh, to the American people. But uh, concerning the information and the uh, uh, information about the uh, United States, 
I think we Japan. I mean, our side we can get more than U.S. You get. Let's take for example the uh, just last night I phoned to Tokyo to my party, and they said the uh, assassination of the uh, president assassination the event was uh, fully covered of the uh, newspaper over there in Japan, and uh, they know more than me because I we are so you know busy to visit here and there, and uh, even I got the uh, uh, very hot information from my people from Tokyo. And also the uh, television program, there are lots of the uh, American movies, and also the explanation about the, the, how the wealth thinking or how the living of the American people. So many Japanese people now becoming to know more about the uh, America. But uh, the, the we visited Cleveland, yes. The one, at the one the high school, I just uh, looked at the, uh, how many books they have in their library about Japan. They had only three. Can you imagine that uh, by three books, how the children can understand the uh, Japan? So uh, I think uh, the, we need more our own effort, not only by the uh, government to government level, but also the uh, people to people level. And this is a dialogue because of my, you know, very selfish and individual idea. The uh, we I, we took the, you know this stage because uh, we are told this is a dialogue with the uh, American people. If we were on the stage, that's not the way to have the dialogue. We should be the same level. So uh, I hope that the, uh, if we have a time, maybe I also wish to read the questions to the uh, delegate uh, participants here today. And uh, I don't have enough. Oh, sorry, I'm just talking too much about the uh, out of my family. I just wish to leave it touch upon about the uh, how the uh, opposition political parties in Japan. Because uh, many of you have an opportunity to know about the, how the government of Japan, how the ruling party of Japan. But uh, I'm representing from the uh, one of the small opposition parties. So this is uh, my responsibility to explain about the how the opposition group in Japan. There are four opposition political parties in Japan. The first one is the left-wing socialist party. This is the uh, more or less than my party, Japan Socialist Party. They are getting support from the trade union organization like AFL-CL here. But the more the workers of the government, <laughs> the industrial factory like the Japan National Railway Workers Union, they are affiliated with Japan Socialist Party. And the second one is the uh, uh, religious party. This is the uh, Buddhist uh, Homeito party. I think uh, some of you already heard about the Tokugakai. So this is the uh, really heavily involved on the uh, religious problem. And the third party within the opposition, that is my party, Democratic Process Party. The originally we are within the uh, Japan Socialist Party because of their leftist ideas. We couldn't sit together, so we left on 1960 from the Japan Socialist Party, and then we formed a new party. So this is the 1981, now 21 years of history. During my high school days, I was the, a member of this, the uh, uh, Democratic Socialist Party. We are getting support from the uh, trade union people of the <coughs> private companies like uh, Nissan or Toyota or uh, uh, Hitachi and also Sony. And Japan Airlines also supporting, uh, the, I mean, uh, the they are supporting to our party. And uh, this is a party of Democratic Socialism, Socialism and we are a strong anti communist party. And uh, I don't know whether you know or not about the existence of the Socialist Party in the United States. I have heard only the name, the great the Socialist, Mr. Norman Thomas of the America, 
And uh, these days, uh, the uh, Mr. My Michael Harrison, <laughs> yes, Ma Michael Harrison, yes. The, those parties, uh, we have a very good relation. And also, we have a good relation with the uh, West German the Social Democrat Party and the Scandinavian Social Democrat Party and so on and so on. And we are members of the Socialist International. This is an international organization of the uh, Socialist parties in the world. And last, uh, the, uh, uh, but we shouldn't forget to know that the existence of the opposition, that the Communist Party, Japan Communist Party we have. And they are, of course, the uh, party of the communism and started 1922, oldest party <coughs> But because of the fortunately or unfortunate thing, the uh, Japanese people, they don't like the uh, communism. So they, they can get the uh, vote uh, until a certain level or certain uh, number. But until from this trade, they cannot increase. But still we have the uh, communist party in Japan. And those, uh, the uh, four parties, that we used to say opposition group of the political parties in Japan. And uh, <coughs> the uh, partner of the Washington government of the United States is the uh, conservative party, they call Liberal Democratic Party. And now the, uh, our party is uh, trying to uh, get together and found the coalition government. And uh, if we succeed the uh, coalition government, we can change the government. But I'm sure that the uh, Washington government will be very much embarrassed because they never have any experience to <coughs> see the face, faces of the uh, opposition group of the people. And uh, within the uh, co uh, conservative party, there are five groups. They are, you know, very good friend of the uh, each leaders of the five groups within the uh, conservative party. So uh, if the case, uh, I hope the very near future, we can succeed to be to have the coalition government. Mm -hmm. Like uh, France, now the uh, uh, president, presidential election is going on. The François Mitterrand mm -hmm. of the French Socialist Party, he's a candidate of the president. And uh, according to the newspaper yesterday I read, they said if the uh, uh, socialist president the appear, many businessmen in the world will be accepted. So I think this is a good occasion for you, I'm sure, to see someone from the uh, one opposition parties. And uh, if you come to Japan, the, any opportunity you have, you can tell them, yes, you met that the uh, and you have a uh, contact with the uh, opposition people, and I think you'll get more advantage the, uh, to know the existence of the uh, forces of opposition parties. And just like this, uh, this is too much. Yes. <laughs> uh, I wish to touch upon the. Uh, uh, relationship between the United States and the uh, Japan. We have the security treaty between the United States and Japan. The, the security treaty started that the, uh, after World War II, and uh, this security treaty was the uh, you know strong, strong and very interesting slogan for the all opposition parties to attack the uh, United States. And uh, the, now the Mr. Uh, Suzuki, Prime Minister <coughs> of the Japan may visit Washington in May, have a talk with the, uh, Mr. Reagan about the uh, security treaty, how we have to maintain or finish. And I'm sure the conservative government may say they need to continue this uh, security treaty. And all other opposition parties, except my party, may say we, have to, we, we shouldn't have any more the, uh, this uh, uh, security treaty with the United States. And this uh, security treaty issue will be one of the hot the political the issues the, among the uh, political parties in Japan. 
And I just a bit to explain about my party the views and attitude. The, uh, we should have the, uh, uh, our own defense force to defend our island, our sea, and our air. And, uh, we are now getting the fear from the Russian side, especially the northern islands. As you know, the uh, the Russian occupying the our northern islands, and the, quite recently they started the uh, construct the military base over there. We really fear from that area, so we really need to maintain the security treaty the, between the United States. This is my party position, but uh, uh, many American people said that the uh, Japan is really free rider of the, the, their own defense force, which they have, you have to share that is responsible of the, your own defense. So that is true. But uh, I think, I wish to say the uh, many Asian countries, they are really waiting the, uh, and expecting the good help of Japan. And the uh, United States of America and Japan, we let the, uh, you know, bad enough the souvenirs over there in Asia and uh, I don't think we shall uh, send any more guns or tanks to the Asian countries. Instead of that, we have to help those uh, Asian people uh, using more technical cooperation of the, or the development aid. Uh, this is the uh, lesson which I got from my own experience working for the United Nations the last year in Sudan, Africa, and also four years working for the Japanese Peace Force. And uh, the quite recently, the Mr. Willy Brandt, the, he was the chairman of the Brandt Committee in the United Nations on the South-North program. He said, the, for our survival in future, we have to make our own effort for disarmament. At the same time, we have to make the, our effort to solve the problem on North-South relations, uh, North-South program. Thank you very much. On behalf of uh, Japan Caravan and uh, Mr. Buto and Mr. Ruchi, I'd like to thank the Council of Foreign Relations to make this arrangement so that we could talk to you with people. And also, I'd like to thank you for coming uh, tonight in spite of this bad weather. Uh, Mr. Ruchi certainly is not a typical Japanese. <laughs> 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 uh, this is the evidence of some of the changes which are taking place in Japan, I think. To catch up or to adjust or to adapt to the uh, rest of the world. It is only a recent phenomenon, perhaps in the last 18 months to two years, that Irritation and sense of maybe distrust increase when you hear a news through mass media or uh, occasion of lecture, uh, but given by Japanese speakers from business, government, academia, and so forth, when they try to present the Japanese view, the so-called second oil crisis in 1979 perhaps was a trigger for the change of the post posture for Japan on the part of American business leaders, opinion leaders, the few. <coughs> Senator uh, Benson of uh, Texas, Texas. <laughs> commenting in the February 9th issue to the Washington Post in his in the introduction of the dance dance bill says, quote, the typical Japanese response is to wait 
as long as possible and then do as little as possible to be accommodating. We hear assurances that they appreciate our concerns and will try to be helpful, unquote. Mr. Traxler of uh, Michigan, Congressman, says, quote, the Japanese have not only, only doubled their auto export to this country in four years, they plan to step up their production more, further increase their export to the United States, and shoot for 40% market share. It is, not intent, it is not my intention here to argue and discuss who is right or wrong nor to attempt to present or suggest a solution on so-called trade war. The recent automobile issue may be only one example of many other potential conflicts and emotional and political conflicts. However, it is inevitable that our two nations will somehow manage to cooperate. It may be of some significance for us to discuss and really think the basic issues of how two countries, Japan, United States and Japan, and two cultures and their people resolve problems. In many instances, human endeavor to resolve problems will bring improvement and put people closer if there is a strong commitment to, to, to resolve despite the difficulty of the situation. I think there are four basic issues involved, involving in the recent uh, U.S.-Japan economic uh, relations. The role of Japan in the U.S.-Japan relations is the first issue. It requires a change and shift of mentality and attitude on the part of Japan from dependency to establishing her own role of responsibility. To the average Japanese leaders, the internationalization was in fact Americanization. Until the oil crisis, the economic impact of America was directly linked with the Japanese economy. If Wall Street caught a cold, the Japanese stock market suffered pneumonia. That was the state of condition. <laughs> Now, America perceives Japan as a super economic power. Uh, Dr. Dixon Long, who we met uh, a couple of days ago, uh, who is a professor at uh, Case, Case, Western. Case Western University, mm -hmm. said that he uh, heard uh, from somebody describing Japan as a sleeping country or nation for 200 years, suddenly got up and start running. That was what he said. And I think the true strategy and momentum for the Japanese progress were not formulated by the Japanese themselves, in my opinion, but rather given and implemented by America. The current disorder, dilemma, and perplexity on the part of Japanese constitute evidence that the current export increase to the United Market is the result of following the American model and not a planned strategy to penetrate the U.S. market in a downpour fashion. The mentality change needed here for Japan is to recognize and act as a truly responsible member of the society of developed nations. This is the first time in the long history of Japan that Japan must speak as one of the economically rich countries and not as a poor country or developing country speaking to more advanced nations. This is a difficult mental shift, but it must be accomplished. The decline of U.S. competitive economic position is a second issue, but since there are many studies done on it, I would not like to, to elaborate also uh, in, in the interest of time. The third issue is the different approach of the two countries in resolving a particular problem. 
when reacting to external changes, whether of a positive or negative nature, the two cultures behave quite differently. The Western or the American approach is direct and from the top down. The top person makes a decision with the, with, with the help of his aides, and such decisions <coughs> are announced and made known rather quickly. It is typical of Western culture to react directly to problems or to issues by establishing various policies, alternatives, solutions, guidelines, etc. Et Contrary to this, the Japanese move is one of collective reaction based on seemingly endless discussions. <laughs> the first step begins with identifying who is to be involved in the decision-making process. And it is important to note that consideration is given also as to who should be involved at this stage for successful implementation once the consensus has been reached. The leader takes the role of listener, questioner, and seldom expresses his favorite alternative at the early stage. Indeed, the leader is a man of patience and able to wait for the discussion to funnel down to the most desirable direction or solution. This is the Japanese bottom-up system. The Japanese way of reacting to external changes indirectly in, in, in the form of group consensus may be perceived by outsiders as not fair and untrustworthy. Perhaps this is because the theater cannot announce a direction or an alternative <coughs> until consensus is formulated. In some cases, experimental implementation even begins prior to making an official stand, thus creating the image of tricky, featureless, power mad, devilish, and at the same time, the image of Japanese as good little people, happy, childish, interested in endless details for details' sake. I see a great need for Japanese to make adjustments in a cross-cultural negotiations to make much make a consensus formulation process clear as to announcing its objectives or possibly some options so that the sense of mutual trust uh, between two countries can be maintained. <coughs> now this brings up the last issue of the image and reality gap. An image of a country is formulated over a long period of time. It naturally displays negative aspects in the time of confrontation and conflict. It may be worthwhile here to review quickly how Japan and Japanese were perceived by Westerners. As you may know, the first in encounter with Westerners was with the Portuguese traders in 1542, followed by about 200 years of, uh, of uh, total isolation begun in 1639. Uh, excuse me, 1639. A letter uh, written by one of the uh, Englishmen, published in London in 1850, says, The people of this island of Japan are good of nature, courteous about major, valiant in war. The justice is severely executed without any partiality upon transgress transgressors of the law. They are governed in great civility. <laughs> The people be very superstitious in the religion, honor of, the, uh, of diverse opinions. Uncle. I think there are two Europeans in the, the late 19th century through the early uh, 20th century who were responsible for creating an image of Japan by their writings Pierre Loti and Dakadio Han. In the uh, early 1900s, Loti wrote, Quote, Japan appears a country of women and children, a toy nation. 
gay and unserious, where everything and everyone are small physically, as well as morally and intellectually. <laughs> and during the uh, Russian-Japanese uh, war in, in the early 1900s, uh, the description of this gentleman, Mr. Lotti, changed to, quote, ugly, cruel, fanatic, bloodthirsty, savage, treacherous, and dangerous for Western, unquote. Lotti was a French writer, but his influence was not limited to France alone. He was received by heads of state, including the Queen of England and the President of the United States. It is the history of the Western countries, including America perhaps, that these influences may remain in the minds of people during times of difficulty. It may be helpful, it may be helpful to analyze if there is an intolerable gap between what Japan should be and what it is now, I think this gap needs to be analyzed. If the Japan, United States, US-Japan relations, and uh, if two countries recognize each other as the vital partners in free world, which I strongly believe we are, to maintain peace and prosperity, better understanding of Japanese, but American, and recognizing of the new role of Japan are uh, vitally necessary. It, it was 1953 uh, when I first came to the United States by a ship as a student, uh, and it took uh, 15 days by a ship. Now it's like 18 and a half hours at the Pacific. During the voyage, it was a time of orientation, education for me, learning about America, American people from other passengers. Technological advancement certainly has closed the distance in terms of time, but it did not, it is not contributed to better understanding of cultural and cultures and people. Therefore, an occasion like this, we appreciate it very much, and uh, I, I hope I have played the role which I was supposed to do in promoting and stimulating your mind for the better dialogue and better understanding of our two countries, two cultures, and their people. Thank you very much. Along with two uh, previous speakers, I'm also very <coughs> pleased to be uh, in your fair city, Baltimore, which I understand is the sister city of Kawasaki in Japan. In fact, I work in Tokyo and live in Yokohama, so every day I have to traverse the city of Kawasaki. Uh, <coughs> uh, Miss uh, uh, Taguchi and uh, Chuck Ikubo and I, as you know, are members of the so-called Japan Caravan uh, number three. In fact, uh, there have been, have been two other uh, Japan Caravans coming to the United States. And uh, over the years, we Japanese really have not made efforts to make ourselves understood by our friends overseas. And I, I, we felt that uh, <coughs> uh, some of us who have had the uh, who have the language capabilities and who have had the privilege of receiving uh, the best uh, education, uh, partly in, in the United States. Uh, Thought that, that we ought to come to the United States from time to time so, so that, that we will have opportunities to meet new Americans in all segments of life and, and so that we'll be able to tell you something about Japan and our behavior 
and also would like to also at the same time have, have dialogues with you so that we know what you think of us and uh, what you expect us to do. So we <coughs> feel that it certainly is a privilege to, uh, to come here after having been to uh, St. Paul, Minneapolis, uh, Detroit, and uh, Cleveland, and to come to your fair city, Baltimore. In fact, uh, we hope the uh, three of us uh, will be able to uh, help build bridge of understanding like the rainbow we see. <laughs> I'd like you to remember that uh, all of us here uh, uh, did not speak a word of English until our late tea. So we, uh, we feel in some ways we are very much handicapped. Uh, so please bear with, with me uh, with my poor English. Uh, I, uh, Frank Bird did not uh, uh, say in uh, my introduction that uh, my company, the Samora company, in the small Japanese